Alex, don't touch it. When designing a helmet, there are two main challenges when it comes to reducing traumatic brain injuries. The first is reducing linear acceleration to the brain, and the second is reducing rotational acceleration. A concussion caused by linear impact is when the head's momentum is stopped or rapidly changed, causing the brain to collide with the inner skull. Whereas rotational concussions are the result of a lateral or oblique impact that causes the brain to spin on its axes, physically tearing the structures of the brain. How many times have you been out riding with somebody and they crashed? They didn't get knocked out, but they had some concussion. You could tell they were a little bit messed up. Well, they probably hit less than 74 Gs. Our helmets are, are built to withstand 300 Gs, yet 80% of our crashes are below 100 Gs. So I believe we should be addressing low energy impacts just as much as high energy impacts. So we put a vinyl nitrile layer in our Maraca helmet, um, and that's basically memory foam. The whole purpose was to start dissipating energy at 20 Gs, 50 Gs, all those things that are way below what we build our helmets to. It, one of the biggest innovations that we came up with was the first one was composite fusion. However, um, you can't see it. People can't pick it up and go, wow. You know, so now our latest one, LDL, you can actually physically see, and it's super important, but it's no less or more important than the composite fusion. But because people can see it, they can relate to it more. They can feel it. They can touch it and go, what the hell is that? Why do you put those stupid little octopus tentacles or those Lego pieces, the, the green pieces that we put inside? So those take care of low G hits, so compressive linear hits, as well as they will fold over and help skid off those rotational forces. So our goal is to not just uh, make stuff and, and pat ourselves on the back for coming up with some new cool innovation, but to actually get it into as many products as we possibly can. Um, those are the things that, that excite us and, and we're never going to stop doing that.